Hey guys, welcome, hello, good day. All the different ways of, I guess, we say hello here in Australia. No, Anston, you don't say welcome as hello in Australia. Howdy. Probably there's more. Let me know down below if you think there's more. I think that's, that's the only three we say. But anyways, it's getting colder here. It's autumn and it's so cold already. Look at this, I'm literally rubbed up. But I thought maybe we should make something a bit more peppery today. And I had a bit of Singapore noodles in my cupboard as well. So I was like, mm, what can I make? So today we're gonna make some peppery beef Singaporean noodles. Ready in 15 minutes. Lunch, dinner, have for breakfast. Literally, it takes 15 minutes or less. Let's begin. So guys, to start this off, I have Singaporean noodles over here. I'm using out of a packet, you can make your own, but it's not gonna be under 15 minutes. Beef mince, oyster sauce, oyster sauce, and some soy sauce, vegetable oil, and sesame oil. If you don't like sesame, use just vegetable oil or some peanut oil with vegetable oil. Over here, I have some freshly ground peppercorn. Now, if you don't have freshly ground peppercorn, just use powdered out of a bottle, that is completely okay. But freshly ground peppercorn is amazing for this dish and especially for winter. Salt, I have a whole red onion, two garlic cloves, chili, chilies that I don't really eat, but you just need a tiny bit of chilies, so I'll probably use that much. And then shallots, two nice shallots with few dead bits, but yeah, let's begin. So now start slicing your onions quite thinly, then slice your garlic, your shallots, and chop your chilies up. So on low heat, get a nice wok, or if you have a flat pan, that'd be fine as well. Get in your sesame and vegetable oil in. Let that heat up for a second, so maybe about 10 seconds or so. Once that's done, add in your onions. And garlic. Then into that mixture add in one, two, around two and a half to three tablespoons, I mean teaspoons of black corn pepper. Give it a nice mix. Now mix that around and let it saute for about three minutes. After about three minutes, you'll start seeing um, the onions sort of going translucent, some of them going slightly brown, the garlic going brown. You get this really amazing aroma of, I don't know, fried black peppercorn, onion and garlic with that sesame oil. And man, I feel like eating it right now. So to this, what we're gonna do is add our beef. Make sure you take the paper off. And now cook this for about five minutes. So now this has been cooking for about five minutes. I'm gonna add the remaining chili or that's all I'm adding. There's nothing else going in chili wise. And to that, I'm gonna add another teaspoon of black pepper. So you can increase the black pepper if you want to. I like mine to have about four teaspoons because it also has chili in it. And then what I'm gonna do is add the soy, hoisin and oyster sauce mix. Just give it a quick mix for about 20 to 30 seconds, and then add a little bit of salt, 
Now make sure you don't add a lot of salt because you already have soy sauce in it. So I would recommend about less than about a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then to that, add in your noodles. Give it a nice mix through. And to finish it off, just add your shallots. And then give it one last mix through for about 30 seconds. So you don't overcook that amazing shallots. So guys, once you mix it up really well, just plate it, put some extra chilies on the top if you want to. And there you go, that's ready to eat. So, that took 12 minutes. Oh, it's less than 15 minutes really. But if it's a cold day, a cold night, or a cold morning, and if you wanna have something super warm and peppery, try this, peppery beef noodles, or Singaporean noodles. Swap the noodles to whatever you want, reduce the pepper if you need to, change the oil. But if you follow this recipe, it takes you less than 15 minutes. Let me know what your variations are. Do not forget to comment, like, and hit that subscribe button right there. Follow me so we can get fat together. See you next time, bye.